welcome back. Thank but you. also welcome. congratulations. Thank you. And it wouldn't be the real if we didn't ask you, how did this go down? We want to know. We're being nosy. Her, her dad, Papa Joe, who I love, I think is an amazing man, said, hey, I need some ideas. We're going to, you know, we're celebrating our 19-year anniversary. What do, you, what do you suggest we do? Once we figured out the times, I was like, um, we're going to be in Paris, so you guys should come <gasps> to Paris. So I worked it out to get I them there. I didn't know any of this. My mom and dad, dad, but like my whole family knew. They knew they were going and they're like lying to me. I'm thinking they're home in New York. Yeah. And this whole time, you guys, they were in Paris living it up. So I'm actually taking a shower and getting ready for the day. We get to Paris. I'm getting ready for the day. And all of a sudden I hear this knock on my door, but I'm literally in the shower. Like, like who could be knocking on my door? Like it is in the room next door. I'm like, what is happening here? So I throw my robe on, soaking wet out of the shower, and I'm like, what is the problem? I open the door, it's him standing at the door with my parents. <gasps> and I was like, wait, what? I was bugging out, they had champagne, they're like, my parents are toasting to their, he's like, I've got them here for, that's the picture, see how crazy I look? Oh. In my robe. Okay, so, well, one of the nights we're going to dinner, the second night, and pretty much he took me on a private yacht. It was just us with my parents. I asked the captain because the, the lights sparkle um, on the Eiffel Tower every hour for five minutes. Right. So I said, toward the end of that, like, make sure we're right by the tower. Oh my gosh. Right? She was looking out the window. I yeah. said, turn around. And I, I gave her a bunch of these white roses. Rose yes. my, and he told me, you guys know I'm obsessed with social media and Instagram. <laughs> so they're like, one, two, three. I throw it, and he was on his date. <gasps> oh. oh. You're good. Oh. So good. We're good. Okay, wait, uh, so what's going on through your mind at that time? Are you nervous? Do you think she I'm, suspects I'm a, anything? Of course I'm nervous. Like, this is, this is a once in a lifetime woman. Oh. I don't know why. When he got down on his knee, babe, I literally, I looked at you and I like got down with you. But I don't know right, why. So right. we both end up on our knees on the floor. Like, please get up, please get up, this is so. And then he proposed to me, then I was like, why am I on the floor? Yeah. I might as well ask you to marry me too. Well, you know oh what? God. Guess what? We both said yes. Look so. at that. Okay, okay. You smell so good. That's why I'm crying. <laughs> Have a seat. Welcome to Thank the show, Oh my goodness. Yo, look at her. You know, uh, Monique, a few years back, you did an interview. You and your husband, Sydney Hicks, did an interview for my uh, radio show, Cafe Mocha Radio. Yes. And you wanted something to say about that interview. What was it? You know, um, the reason why Lonnie and I had to hold on to each other for a minute is because we could have experienced a horrible Hollywood story. But in the end, the story was so beautiful, and I think it's important that people understand who Lonnie is for real. Because sometimes you get to see her. You know, but to know who she really is because one day uh, Sydney and I were listening to their show. And Lonnie and her co host, baby, they was going in. How could Lonnie <laughs> do that? And oh, the man and her husband. And it was just not kind. Mm -hmm. And I called my sister up because I didn't want to call anybody else. I wanted to talk directly to my sister. And I called her up, and the conversation we had. She said in the midst of that conversation, she said, Monique, I didn't consider that. Mm -hmm. I didn't consider that as I was talking. And exactly. so that was our moment right there for us to physically hold on to No, you, you, you called me, I said, okay, let me, I gotta fix this, okay? <laughs> I'm like, wait, sure. But so that's real. Yeah, it, it, I it mean, is. can you imagine, it's, I never would have thought, all the things that have happened, I met you on Soul Plane. Let me tell you about this. You remember when we ran the table, read? Yeah. And you took my hand up under the table and you gave me advice and you said, Lonnie, do it just like you did it in the audition. Because you could have been mean to me. You could have said, you know, whatever, just let it. But you worked with me that day because that was my very first 
audition, my very first table read. Wow. And then I remember after we, we were making people crack up laughing. And then you did this up under the table like that. Oh. And we did that movie together and it was, she taught me so much about sisterhood wow. that I have to commend you because everything that people try to put on you, you don't let it happen, Monique. So that's why I was so proud of you because oftentimes y'all know how the game can get. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and words can be said and mm -hmm. things can go back and forth yeah. and we not be courageous enough to say, let me call my sister directly. Yeah. Cause this get ready to get crazy. I don't want to know about what you right. said. Yeah. I want to call my baby yeah. directly. That so it was that moment for us to say, we still sisters. Mm -hmm. And if you do have a different opinion than I do, girl, call me up so we can talk about it. But it just, it solidified our sisterhood in that moment, and exactly. neither one of us walked away no. offended, tainted. No. We said we loved each other at the end of that conversation. Yep. So oh, that's what y'all got with Lonnie Love, baby. Yeah. That's what you got with Lonnie Love, well, baby. Now, recently, some fun, awkward outtakes of some young former Disney stars like Hilary Duff, my girl Raven Simone, and our very own. Tamara <laughs> was shared on the internet and we couldn't wait to show you guys this clip of Tamara with her sister Tia. You gotta check it out. Take a look. I'm Tia and I'm Tamara Mori from, from Sister Sister, sister and, you're and you're watching Disney Channel. sister was off for about two years yeah. and then the Disney Channel picked it up mm -hmm. so T and I were just grateful we were grateful that our show was, was kind of like re well a lot of the younger kids mm -hmm. could now uh, watch it it was revived so it was really fun was what cool. was she telling you uh, yeah, what was the whispering okay what a lot of people don't know is that when T and I do things together we actually help each other so I help direct her and she helps direct me. So she was giving me a little note. Sometimes I could be a little bit Jim Carrey-ish, meaning um, I'm a face puller, I make lots of faces. So Tia was like, okay, Tamara, don't, don't do that at the end. That was a little bit too much. I and I was that. like, okay, Tia, I get it. And it actually turned out really cute. That was, that was the take they used. I love that. That. Oh, wow. yeah. awesome. that is hard to find. And what a lot of people don't know is that like, there's nothing there for you to follow. It is no. so awkward. You're just standing like, there like, uh, like that, she exactly. Was, she was so excited to do it. Yes, come she through loved, our muscles. Right? <laughs> she That's was so happy great. that she was the one that uh, got to draw. I love that is so this. funny. Well, your sister actually tweeted, oh my God, they were filming this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that how you felt when you saw it? No, I just thought it was, it was, it was really, Cute. It was fun to go back, uh, back in time. I got an bit. outtake. Yeah. Well, you know what, Tamara? I found a video of someone else at this table who was on the Disney Channel. Take a look. Hey, what's up? I'm Adrian, and you're watching <laughs> Disney Channel. <laughs> She would wear your hair more curly because I love no, that. That was so like, cute. like let's like that was a lot. I remember the day I did that. I had just dyed my hair out of a box hair dye, uh -huh. and it was that purple brown color, like purple red. Uh huh. Why I don't know. I was bored and I dyed my hair that color. I remember being there doing it. And honestly, I was so excited. It right? was actually what people don't know is it's such an honor to be a part of the kids that Disney. got to do that. It's actually called the Circle of Stars, Disney Circle of Stars, and I felt honestly so honored to be the first Latina to ever do it. So that oh, meant cool. so much. Oh wow! Yeah, that was huge. So proud of you, Dad. And you look exactly the same, friends. You do, friends. You, do. you look the same. Thank All you God. did was discover eyelashes. Please yeah. God. Yeah. Disney yeah. was like, put some chapstick on and squeeze your cheeks and. Keep it pushing. Uh, did you do? Did you do your own makeup? Yes. So did we. we I did our, my own makeup. That's yep. why I was so cool. Yeah, yep. it looked like you did. So. I just... <laughs> <laughs> so Tamara and Adrian and I 
got you both wands because we are going to have a wand off, ladies. We Go are. Go keep your mission. Yeah. Hey, what? Okay, here you go. Oh, here you go. Thank you, thank you. So, let's see. Spell out the real with those wands, okay? Can you do that? Okay. okay. We got to relive this. Okay, so Cam's okay. going to go first. I might just do the R. Is that... Girl, okay. you can put in oh, Khalil for it. Do whatever you Because you, you have want. to do it backwards. That's the thing. Oh, you're smart. Yeah. I forgot <laughs> about that part. Does she have to do it backwards, you guys? Yeah, so I'll just, just do, do the it. R backwards. Do we... Okay, do you it. You want to do right? it right, Bonnie? <laughs> okay, <laughs> three, two, one, go, Tam. Hi, I'm Tamir Mori Housley, and you're watching The Real. Do I do it backwards R? Your turn, Adrian by low. Okay. Come Three, on, Adrian. Two, you can do it. You can one. do it, Mike. Action. Hey, what's up? I'm Adrian Houghton, and you're watching The Real. Oh. Hey! <laughs> I finally went to the doctor, and I was pregnant. Oh. And I'm going to tell you something. Your body goes through so yeah. much. Yes. And then... At that time, I started processing because then I had to start saving for the baby, yeah, had yeah. to start doing all this. And I was like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do, right? Mm -hmm. And then it was like, the dude that I was with, he was excited, but I was still like really, really nervous. Yeah. And, but then eventually, you know that nature takes over. You're like, you know what, it's nothing I can do. I'm yep. just gonna have to have this baby mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna deal with it. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, as soon as I was like, okay with it, about mm, eight weeks, mm -hmm. I miscarried. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Lonnie. So I was pregnant. Oh, Lonnie. I never knew this. Lonnie, Lonnie I never knew this. Wow. So, uh, oh. you know, and I just never wanted that feeling again. Yeah. Because I was always afraid, and I just didn't want to, you know, yeah. I had so much love for that baby, yeah. and it just never. Once you hear that heartbeat. Oh, my goodness. It was just like, you know, and sometimes that's why I don't take it lightly. You know, after that, I made sure that I would never get pregnant again because I didn't want to have to go through that because I felt like it was a person that I was letting down. Oh, and so I oh never did it again. So that's the reason why I don't have children yes. to this day. Well, you know miscarriages are not your fault. Sometimes uh -huh. things, you know, just just happen. I think the, God has I a think plan the that Lord we... knew what he was yeah. doing. Okay, I'll tell you that much yeah. because he knew. Because <laughs> now I make up for it a lot. And, um... You know, I, I have a life where I'm an entertainer, and I think that a lot of my... That's why I love children so I much. Oh, and you are an amazing auntie to my children, Lonnie. I didn't know that, Lonnie. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh. I don't that. mean to put us down. No, I just no, so no. no. It's that's real. real. You want to share real stories. I'm sure there's yeah. somebody out there that's experienced that, that's hearing you talk about it right now and feels like I'm not the only one. I'm not alone. Yeah, and you're right, no. because women do blame themselves they when do. they get miscarriages. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not right. Because you stop mm -hmm. drinking when, yeah. you, you know, when you know you're late. You stop drinking and everybody's like, why you stop and drinking? And sometimes it's just unexplainable. Like, no. you, just, you, just, you just don't know. Right. But like you said, you know, God has a, God has a plan. moment and tell you I think you are amazing. Thank you, baby. You are like my hero. Wow. You're so sweet. I don't, I and mean, then you say to yourself, okay, do people like this really recognize the impact that they have on so many people? Like, oh, baby. you have inspired me to literally sit here at this table. Oh. I didn't even know I was the first Latina in daytime. Did you know this? Crazy. Yes. But you, you, you were someone I could look up to and be like, yo, if she could do it, I could do it. She's from the Bronx. I'm from New York, LES. But like, <laughs> everything you've done, every step of the way, you've done it with class and dignity and integrity. And yes. you're talented and you're hardworking and um, fun. you are, and you're fun. <laughs> yes, you come yes. out here slaying in outfits like that. <laughs> so That's I love outfit. you. Yes. You, are you know, so back in the day when I was in 3LW, we did like MTV Cribs, you guys. And I had this huge poster of you in my bedroom. And I would walk by it every day and be like, yo, if Chaylo could do it, I could do it. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. Nuts. <laughs> 
I'm like, if anybody ever tries to play themselves and act like you didn't wear hoop earrings, brush your baby hairs, get a spray tan to have the glow, you're lying. She's inspired everyone Thank to you. be fly. Yeah. So many lovers. Thank you, baby. Woo! So with that being said, I'm gonna start acting normal now. <laughs> get it together. I really want to know who has been your inspiration. Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, you know, when I was growing up, I loved all different types of performers. My mother was very into musicals, and she loved Barbara Streisand, so yes. that was one of mine. And she was a singer and an actress, and uh, became a director. So all those things are things that inspired me. But I loved performers like Tina Turner and James Brown and Janet Jackson and Madonna. Yes. You know, when I was coming up, that was like amazing, Michael Jackson, people like that. So my career for me is like always kind of been emulated through those inspirations over the years. Great, it's awesome. Yes, I, I love, love that. Jennifer, you have paved the way. I just, I'm still recovering from Adrian. Because I know all the love, all the love from Adrian right now. But not only Adrian, <laughs> so many other women yes. admire you yes. and you've paved the way for so many women. I know it like, it feels like, oh, don't say it, but it's true. You even oh, inspired me. No, no stop it. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Listen, I, I feel so um, fortunate, so blessed to, you know, have been in this business as, as long as I've been in this business. I feel um, like every day my life is, is a dream, honestly. Mm -hmm. And to, to, to feel this kind of love and, you know, at this point, after doing it for so many years is, is honestly, it's, it's, it's mind blowing for me. It's well, mind blowing. Some of the hurdles, being a woman of color, in your career. Well, it's funny, when I started, when I started, I, um, there was like nobody, like Rosie was out there doing some acting and stuff like that. And, you know, Rita Moreno back in the day yes. was, you know, it was like very yes, few yes. and far between of us. And I just, I just, in my mind, I knew that if I just was myself, yes. that that was different than everybody else. Right. That was doing okay. it. And so, I never shied away from that. That was always a big part of things for me. It's like, I am from the Bronx. Yes. I am Puerto Rican. Yes. I am, you know. <laughs> and you're such an orgullo for us. I, I, no I, idea. Because I, I like, wear, you know, I like wear my Yankee hat everywhere. Yes. I, you know, I'm like, that's who I am. Mm -hmm. I don't try to be anything that I'm not. But I also was, was an artist. Mm -hmm. And so I just always tried to be better than everybody else. I tried, I, that was always my goal, was like, and you were. be the best, be the best, be the and best you can be.